Good afternoon, folks. You're very welcome to uh, our new junior cycle geography lesson today, uh, which is obviously Monday. Um, so, folks, we have a brand new topic we are starting today. Um, the last couple of weeks we've looked at responding to natural disasters. We are now finished that. And today and over the next couple of weeks, we're going to look at rock. OK, so types of rock. All right. And um, we're going to look at the types of rock. We're going to look at how rocks are formed. We're going to look at where you can find certain rocks. And we're going to look at how, how, how we use rocks. OK, so there are three main families of rock that you can see in front of you here. OK, we have an igneous rock, OK, a sedimentary rock and a metamorphic rock. OK, and today we're going to look uh, briefly at how uh, examples of each rock type and how they're formed. OK, I just want to draw your attention to the map of Ireland over here. So. Um, that map of Ireland is colour coded and the colours tell you where various rocks can be found. Okay, And as we can see, the most common rock in Ireland is limestone. Okay, uh, So limestone is very common in Ireland. You can see up here, we've got some basalt up towards the Giant's Causeway. Um, and we're going to look at how rocks got there. Why is there certain rock types in those parts of Ireland? OK, but first of all, we're going to look at types of rock. So we've got our three families of rock. OK, but what type of rock belongs to each family? And you probably would have heard of some of these. So with igneous rock, we have basalt and granite. OK, we have sedimentary rock. Then we have limestone and sandstone. And then we've metamorphic rock. We have quartzite and marble. OK, and over the next three slides you're going to look at, we're going to look uh, at how igneous rocks are formed, how sedimentary rocks are formed, and how metamorphic rocks are formed. Okay, but for now, guys, what I want you to do is pause the video and just take down on the left hand side there these fellas here. So, igneous rock, the data two examples, sedimentary rock, take down the examples, and metamorphic rock, take down the examples. Okay, when you're ready, hit play, and we will continue on with the lesson. Okay, so moving on. Um, we're going to look in detail at igneous rocks, how igneous rocks are formed. OK, the word igneous comes from the word uh, ignite, OK, to ignite something. All right. And if you if, if you're to think about it, if you're to ignite something, what do you need? You need heat. OK, you need heat to ignite something. All right. And that's how igneous rocks are formed. Igneous rocks are linked to volcanoes. OK, and we know what can come out of a volcano. Well, lava can come out of a volcano, okay? And we know that that lava creates new land. So that lava, a bit like if you melt chocolate, okay, uh, and then you put the ch pretend you leave the chocolate at room temperature on the counter, that chocolate, it'll slowly start to harden and uh, solidify back into solid chocolate again, okay? That's how igneous rocks form. So um, the, the magma that is underground used to be rock, okay, but it's been, it's been burnt and melted and it's... Um, it is now a liquid rock. It's molten rock, okay, uh, or magma. Now, this magma may reach its way to the Earth's surface through a volcano vent, okay, and at this point, it'll start to, it's known as lava. And what does lava do? Well, lava could be a thousand degrees. So when lava is out in the cool air, okay, it'll cool and solidify, and that will form rock, okay. So uh, igneous rocks form as a result of volcanic activity. So literally, lava comes to the Earth's surface. What does lava do? It'll start to cool and harden, and this will form rock. Okay. So when molten magma is released uh, from a volcano, it cools and hardens at the Earth's surface. If it reaches the Earth's surface, it solidifies quickly. Okay. Um, and this will solidify and turn into rock. Now, sometimes it can cool slowly inside the crust. That's called an intrusive rock. It's an intrusive igneous rock has formed inside the Earth's crust. And then if it um, forms on the outside, on the Earth's surface, that's what's known as an extrusive rock. Okay, an extrusive rock, it forms outside. It cooled really quickly. Um, you know, it cooled in a couple of days and it formed a rock. Okay, and two examples of igneous rocks are granite and basalt. Okay, so what I want you to do now guys is pause the video and I want you just to take down the notes in front of you. Okay, you do not have to draw the diagram. Just take down the notes in front of you, igneous rock, how they're formed and we are, you are, actually already have the examples. So you can actually leave though, you don't have to take down those. Okay, when you're ready hit play and we'll continue with the lesson. 
Okay, so our second type of rock is a sedimentary rock. Okay, and a sedimentary rock is made up of sediments, hence the term sedimentary. It's made up of sediments. Now, where do these sediments come from? These sediments are basically, they can be sediments of other rocks, so small bits of other rocks that have been broken off by erosion, or they can be sediments from dead plants and dead sea creatures. Okay, so if you look here, guys, you can see, right? We're underneath an ocean here. We've got um, plants and sea creatures. When these plants and sea creatures die, they slowly break down into sediments. Okay. Now, over time, layers, now this, this takes millions of years, layers and layers of sediment form. Okay. Now, each time a new layer of sediment forms, okay, uh, the weight of the layer on top will cause this layer at the bottom to get squashed and compacted together. And this creates rock. This creates uh, a limestone sedimentary rock. Okay, so um, sediment, sedimentary rocks. These are formed from the particles of other rocks, dead plants, and animals. These sediments are deposited. So this word here, deposited, what's that mean? It means they are simply dropped. So these sediments are dropped on the ocean floor, and they build up and build up in layers over time. Um, they get compressed and cemented. So what? What does the word compress mean? What the, if I used to compress something, that means I'm squashing it. And if to cement something, what does cemented mean? The word cemented means to stick, okay? So these layers get squashed and stuck together, and over time they form rock, okay? And if you actually look at a limestone sedimentary rock, if you look at like a cross-section of limestone, it's at, you can actually see the layers. You can see each layer of rock. Okay, um, and your examples of sedimentary rock are sandstone and limestone. Okay, so guys, the same with igneous rocks. I want you to pause the video and just take down the notes off this slide. Okay, so you do not have to uh, draw the diagram, just the notes will do. When you're ready, hit play and we will continue with the lesson. Okay. Okay, moving on. Um, our final type of rock is a metamorphic rock. Okay. And a metamorphic rock is a rock that used to be a sedimentary rock or an igneous rock, but it changed due to two things. It changed due to great heat and pressure, okay? So metamorphic rocks are formed from rocks that already exist, okay? So you can have a, a limestone or basalt. They are, already exist, okay? Now, what happens to these rocks? They get exposed to two things. Okay, so they get exposed to great heat and great pressure. And this heat and pressure can come from different places. So for example, in this scenario, the heat is coming from magma in the mantle and the pressure is coming from the, the weight of an ocean. Okay, and the combination of this heat and pressure will change. So to, to metamorphize, the word metamorphize means to change something. Okay. Um, so again, if I've got a bit of uh, limestone and it comes into contact with unbelievable pressure and unbelievable heat, it could change it. It could change it into, say, marble, for example. Okay, and yeah, this heat and pressure can come from different places. It can come from, um, usually comes from plate movement. So the plates move and magma moves, and the the pressure by plate caused by plate movement, and the heat caused by the magma will result in. Uh, rocks being metamorphized. They'll be changed due to great heat and great pressure. Okay, so again, guys, what I want you to do, uh, pause the video and take down the notes off this slide. All right, guys, that is actually all, that is that, that is it for today's lesson. Okay, um, so you have your couple of tasks to do. Uh, you, you, could, you can do it as you watch the video or you can do it all in one go. We will have a live class on, um, our next class will be a live class. So make sure you have, keep an eye on your email for that. Uh, the link out to that and very important guys that you have these notes taken down into your copies because you'll be using these notes again in our next live lesson okay so guys thanks very much for tuning in um have a good evening any issues at all guys don't hesitate to contact me on email or school wise take care have a good one